Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Joni from SimpleLivingMama.com and in today's video we are going to be talking all about my father's world curriculum, why I chose this curriculum, how long I've been using this curriculum, and why I still use this curriculum today. So several years ago I wrote a blog post and I'm looking down at my computer at the blog post and it was titled why we are using my father's world curriculum and I just think it's so funny because now, six years later, we are still using My Father's World. I have used it every year that I've been homeschooling from kindergarten up to fifth grade. And um, I can I plan to continue using it um, throughout uh, graduation. So that is something that I wanna to talk to you guys about. Now, you guys know that I don't just, just use My Father's World curriculum. I've talked a lot about the Good and Beautiful. I have added in you know, their language arts and some of their science units, handwriting and stuff like that. So I'm not saying that I only use My Father's World curriculum, but what I do use My Father's World for is their Bible, their history. I follow their science, um, science topics for each year and I, uh, I just love it. So um, let me go back to the very beginning. I'm looking at this blog post. When I started homeschooling my son when he was in kindergarten, I chose to use my father's role kindergarten. Um, apparently, after reading the blog post that I wrote so long ago, I found out about my father's world from a catalog I got in the mail, and I just fell in love with the um, the Charlotte Mason slash classical approach that My Father's World takes. I loved that. Everything was laid out for me as a brand new homeschool mom. That was so important. And even now, homeschooling multiple children, it's nice not to have to plan everything myself. So that is definitely a plus. And the first reason that I chose it all those years ago is because it's God-centered and that is definitely the case. It allows you to give your children a Christian education. Now, you guys know that we've been on a, a faith journey. Um, just this past year, we have decided to become Catholic and we are going through the RCIA process and all of that. Will I continue using My Father's World? Yes, I will. Um, I have done some research on that. I have seen where other Catholic moms have used My Father's World. Um, it's not. It's a non-denominational Christian um, program. It doesn't teach the doctrines of specific um, denominations or anything like that. So, you know, that's not a concern. Um, I agree with most everything in here. Now, I will say that they uh, teach Young Earth which is something that I didn't even know about until I started homeschooling. Uh, and if I'm being 100% transparent and honest with you guys, since this is not a, something that I grew up being taught, um, you know, I'm not decided on what I believe as far as old earth and young earth. I've, I've read the, the arguments and everything. Um, like I said, my father's world teaches young earth. What do I do with my kids? I tell them that there's you know, I'm honest with them and I tell them that there's two schools of thought on this and um, I tell them what I was taught and how I was taught it. We go over what my father's world teaches and I tell them, you know, they're going to have to decide that for themselves and, you know, that's where I drop that. So um, that's one thing you want to keep in mind, but it is God-centered. We learn scriptures, we memorize scriptures. Um, right now, we're working through My Father's World Creation to the Greeks, and we are learning all about the Old Testament. I'm learning so much right alongside my kids. Um, in the kindergarten curriculum, specifically, we learn um, different character traits and how they relate to the Bible. And um, in the first grade curriculum, we did uh, learning God's stories, so we learned a lot about the Old Testament then as well. And it's just been um, a great way for me to give my kids a Christian education at home. Um, the other reason that I wrote was the Charlotte Mason method. Now it's not really 100% Charlotte Mason. Uh, like I said, it combines Charlotte Mason with classical, but there's a lot of great things in there. Nature walks are recommended, um, nature study, and lots of other times, you know, living books. It's very book-based, and um, I, 
I like that the lessons are short and concise and I don't have to to read for like a long time. <laughs> so it's just it's very Charlotte Mason-y, but it's, like I said, not 100%. There's a lot of classical mixed in as well. The daily lesson plans. I love the daily lesson plans even now. Even though if I don't follow them 100%, that's perfectly fine. Sometimes I combine days. Sometimes we don't get to everything that's on the lesson plan. But I like having that laid out for me. Um, my father's world, kindergarten and first grade, actually are both complete curriculum so um, you don't have to buy anything extra you can teach your child to read with the kindergarten curriculum and the first grade curriculum phonics is really really taught mostly in first grade it also includes the math now when you get on up to the family cycle which is what i'm in now and even um they have like kind of a bridge here for second and third graders who don't have any older siblings and that is My Father's World Adventures in uh, U.S. History. It's a really fun year. I actually ended up spreading it out over two years with my kids. Um, you get to pick your own language arts and math, which that's where The Good and the Beautiful ended up coming in. Of course, My Father's World has suggestions, and I did use their suggestions with my oldest to start with. He was still struggling with some reading and some writing and stuff, so that's when I switched him to The Good and the Beautiful for language arts. So the kindergarten and first grade are complete. You don't have to add anything to them unless your child just needs something extra. For me personally, if I could go back in time, I would probably add in more Explode the Code early on because I didn't add that to my um, son until he was in second grade and we started working on um, language lessons for today, which was their, uh, their recommendation for language arts. So that is another plus. Um, I could probably do a whole other video about language lessons for today and the good and beautiful and all that, but just know that for those early years, everything's included. And then as they get older, you have the option to choose what language arts and what math is gonna work best for your child. I think the biggest draw and what is keeping me using my father's world is the way that I can combine my kids. So. In kindergarten and first grade, you're not really supposed to combine your kids because they are um, learning phonics and math at a different pace. My, when I did kindergarten with my oldest, I have another child who's just two years younger and she tagged along with him. Of course, she didn't learn how to read and she didn't learn math really with him, but she did everything else with him. So when she was ready to start kindergarten and he was doing adventures in u.s history i did not repeat the kindergarten with her now my father's world recommends that you do do that but since we had done it she had done it i just added in my own math program and my own phonics program for her and that is what i've done for each of my kids so far um now going forward i have another group of three younger children that could be grouped together. And I'm thinking about doing My Father's World Kindergarten with them because of course they weren't even born <laughs> when I was doing kindergarten with my oldest. So it would be brand new concepts to them. And this might get kind of confusing. If you have some questions, just leave them down below and I'll, I'll try my best to go back and answer your questions. Um, okay, so we did the um, Adventures in U.S. History with my second grader and my kindergartner, and I had her own phonics program and stuff going. I've done the same thing with my child who is now in first grade. So he has not completed My Father's World Kindergarten or first grade. But we have moved into this, this family cycle, which is supposed to start in second grade. And it's really cool because it's like a... Um, five-year cycle. So they start with um, something that's called exploring countries and cultures. And no history is really taught during um, this year, but you're learning all about different countries, all about different cultures. You're praying for these different countries and cultures. It's really cool. And that's what we did last year. And then you start the four-year history cycle. So we are doing creation to the Greeks this year. And I just, I love how it's laid out. So 
This year we're studying um, ancient civilizations, ancient Egypt, ancient Greece. Next year is Rome to the Re Rome to Reformation, so we'll be doing um, Middle Ages stuff like that. And then I'm not 100% sure what the next two are called, but it just it goes forward in the cycle of history, and it's just neat because you can combine your kids from second to eighth grade in those years. So you're teaching your kids theoretically who are between second grade and eighth grade the same things at the same time so we can all sit at the table do morning time together do our history work together um, do our science together which i do use some of my father's world materials for science i do use some of the good and beautiful materials it's all i try to keep everything um, what we would be learning with my father's world i just i like a lot of the good and beautiful units and um their their word wall and um, just the way that it's set up. So for example, this year in creation to the Greeks for science, we would be studying um, creation science. So it goes through all seven days of creation. And so what I did was we did um, energy units from the good and the beautiful. We did the water unit from the good and the beautiful. And then I'm gonna be doing some with the science in the beginning book and all of that. I'll probably do another video about Creation to the Greek specifically. I know I've done review videos on here for, I think, kindergarten, first grade, Adventures in U.S. History, and I'm not sure I did a complete review of exploring countries and cultures, but I will link all those below so you can go check them out and see what I had to say when we finished them. Um, but anyways, so like I was saying, what I love the most about this curriculum is the ability to combine kids, you know, from second grade to eighth grade and a lot of times I bring in even my younger kids with some of the things that we're learning so that's a really cool thing about it um, finally my father's world supports missions so when you spend money with my father's world you can be sure that they are using that money to help with Bible translation around the world and it's just it's really really cool so that's something else also their customer service is amazing guys uh, they have called me every single year and have prayed with me over my homeschool. It's it's amazing, really. So um, it's a company that I love to support and um, one that I am just proud to use to teach my kids. So all of those reasons still stand true today of why we still use this curriculum. Absolutely love it. Um, if you are interested in using My Father's World, I actually have a coupon code for you and I will have it. Um, on the screen and also down below. If you spend $150 with My Father's World, you can get a set of their ocean cookie cutters for free. Those are super fun for your kids from toddler age all the way up until like third, fourth grade. I know my kids love playing with cookie cutters and Play-Doh, so that's just a fun freebie that you can get. And um, yeah, so if you have any questions, leave them down below. I do plan to do a series with this. We're going to talk about creation to the Greeks since that's what we are using this year. And I will have, you know, I'll show you guys how I've got it set up and um, what's included with creation to the Greeks and all that stuff. So I'm excited about that. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.